In this video, I'm going to demonstrate how you can find the bucket ID of a bucket in Microsoft Planner. Let's go ahead and let's dive in. All right, now you can see here that I will be using Power Automate to find the bucket ID. Now I've gone ahead and created an instant cloud flow that has a manual trigger. Next, I'll go ahead and click on new step. And in the choose an operation field, I'll search for the planner connector. And I will scroll down and I will select this list buckets workflow action. Now you can see here the list buckets action takes two input values. The first one is the group ID. Now I'll go ahead and click on the show options button. And this is going to list all of the different groups or teams that you are a member or owner of. Now I'll scroll down and select the project management value. And then the next step is to select the plan ID. Now this is the unique identifier that is assigned to Microsoft Planner plans. Now I'll go ahead and click on the show options button. And you can see here that this particular group only has one planner plan called project tasks. So I'll select this. And next I'll go ahead and click save. Next I'll go ahead and test the workflow. Now you can see here that this flow ran successfully. Now to view the bucket ID, you want to click on the list buckets action, and this will display all the inputs and outputs of this flow action. Now, if you scroll down to the output value, what you're going to see here is a list of all of the different buckets that are in that plan. Now you can see here, I have a bucket called closure. You can see the plan ID value. And the very last value is just called ID. And this actually represents the unique identifier for that particular bucket. So if you're planning on using this bucket in another workflow action and you need the bucket ID, this is the value that you want to select. So that's it. In this tutorial, I demonstrated how you can find the bucket ID of a bucket in Microsoft Planner. I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, please hit that thumbs up below and be sure to subscribe to stay up to date on the latest tutorials that I publish. I'm Louis Yacobalas. Thanks for stopping by. Talk soon.